My name is Andy Fantuz. I played professional football for 12 years, recently retired, and I was with the Thai Cats from 2012 to 2017. Yeah, I can rem remember my concussion in 20, 2012. It was my first year as a Thai Cat. Anyway, I'm running a corner route, kind of sort of near the middle of the field in between the hash marks, and I caught a ball um, where the defender kind of hit me in the back, and the middle linebacker kind of sandwiched me in the front, and I got whiplash. And then, so took that hit smacked my head against the ground, the back of my head, and immediately I just felt off. I got to the sideline, the trainer looked at me and said, you don't look like yourself. That right there told me, wow, I gotta sit out. This is, this is something new for me. I went home and felt a little fuzzy. Next morning, woke up, kind of foggy, wasn't really feeling like myself, and so thankfully, I took the advice of my doctor, uh, my mentor and agent at the time, Tim Fleiser, and said, you know, I gotta, I gotta wait until I'm symptom free to even move more than just walking around, to do any activity, uh, and then follow the steps and slowly get back into the return to play process. You know, I had enough good people around me to help me make the right decision to sit out and uh, take care of my, my brain and take care of my, my future. First off, you just need to listen to yourself and you need to trust the way you feel. If you're not right, tell somebody. Tell your coaches, tell your team, tell, tell your teammates, tell your parents, tell your medical staff. Secondly, we have to take care of each other. We're all playing a game, we're all doing this for fun, we're all trying to be active, be competitive. We need to take care of each other. If it wasn't for those people around me at that time when I got that head injury, I don't know what decision I would have made because I wasn't in the right state of mind and who knows if I'd be sitting here to tell the story today. It's really important, really, really important that we take this seriously, this issue seriously and we grow and learn from it. I hope you all will join me to take the pledge on September 12th to team up and speak up against concussions.